Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners. In this video, I will show you advanced tooltips. We have done a video on tooltips in which I showed you some basic text where you hover over a word or a group of words and you get this pop up. But in this video, I will show you how to take your tooltips to a whole new level. So you can show him icons instead of this tooltip text. So instead of hello there, you can show him an icon, an image or even a YouTube video. Before you go ahead and watch this video, I highly recommend you go check the basic tooltips tutorial in which how I taught you how to position the tooltips and how to size and restyle the tooltip and tooltip text. So I highly recommend you go check that out. It will be in the card above. And also I want you to go ahead and check the video on font awesome five icons. So you can basically animate icons, add icons to your WordPress website all for free using just Elementor. For those of you who are using Elementor's free version, you can paste the custom CSS code as is under these style tags. So make sure you add these and I'll leave this in the first comment. So make sure you add this to HTML code and also copy and paste everything that's in custom CSS column and your usual div and stuff will be just below this. So for those of you who are using the free version, make sure you add the code here as you won't have custom CSS access. Just put these two style tags and paste CSS code here as is and you're good to go. So this is where we left off in the previous tooltips tutorial video where we had some text, a word that can bring us this tooltip text and some other text after this. Let's start with multiple tooltips. So if you have multiple words and multiple terminology that you want to explain to your user in a simple way, you can add multiple tooltips to the same sentence in your website. The easiest way to have multiple tooltips is to basically duplicate this particular column as many times as you want. So if you want to have three tooltips, duplicate this column three times. And of course, click on each HTML widget, go and edit this text. So I can say unique text and I can also change this one. And what's more important is that when you give this class a name, whatever you specify using this dot, those properties will be applied to that. So let's say I want to style this tooltip differently. So let's say I want to give the tooltip of this one a pink background. I can do that. Once I've finished duplicating, all I need to do is to click on this HTML widget and it opens up the code. All I need to do is to put a unique name for this particular tooltip. So I'll just call this class tooltip1 and I'll call this tooltip text1 and of course wherever there is tooltip put 1 and also wherever there is tooltip text put 1 there. So let me finish that. So just by adding a number at the end I made this particular tooltip unique. So now I can change this tooltip properties and that changes will be applied only to this tooltip. So let's say I want to change the background color of the bubble. So I can say pink and you can see that. Also notice how this tooltip remains unaffected. That's because I changed the name or basically the class name of this particular tooltip text to a unique one. So I call this one tooltip text. And I call this tooltip text one number this name becomes unique so you can do the same thing similar to this one so you can give this particular tooltip another number so you can call this one tooltip two and also this span class or tooltip text two and also add that particular number wherever you see tooltip or tooltip text and give whatever property you want and that property will be applied to this particular tool. So you can add font or some five icons 
to tooltips. So go ahead and check that out. How to add Font Awesome 5 icons. I've clearly explained in that tutorial. Also, it will be linked in the card above. So make sure you check that out before watching this video. So you can replace this hover over me text with an icon or this particular floating hey there text with Font Awesome 5 icon. All you need to do is to simply copy the code for that Font Awesome 5 icon. So just delete the text and instead of the text, just copy the code that you need to paste to show that particular icon. And just like that, the icon appears and I've given it some properties. I'll just delete this so that the icon will be displayed at normal size. If you want to scale it, you can do that simply by applying few properties. I've explained all this in the Font Awesome 5 tutorial. Go ahead and check that out. So here you have an icon and the tooltip text is kind of weird. So you need to adjust that, but you basically get the thing. So instead of text, you can show him an icon and tell him what that particular icon is or show him an icon instead of this bubble. So instead of hey there, I can show him an icon. So let's do that. So instead of hey there, I'll just remove the text and paste the code that I need to add in order to show an icon. So once I hover over this, that icon simply appears over that particular tooltip. You can also show him an image when a user hovers over this particular text. So instead of this hover over me, you can show him an image. So just delete the text and paste the code. And the only thing that you need to change here is this particular URL. So this will be your website's URL or if you're getting an image or embedding an image from other website, paste the complete URL. Just go to your WordPress media library, copy the entire images URL and replace that text here. So just like that, your image is shown. Of course, it's stretched a bit. So I'll just remove the styling. So this is the original size of the image. And you can see when I hover over that particular image, that icon is shown above. You can also do the inverse. So you can have a text here. So you can say hover over me. And instead of an icon, you can show him an image. So I just need to replace this icon's code with the image's code. Don't worry, you don't have to type anything. Everything will be in the description and make sure you just change the source to your images URL. So just like that, your image pops up whenever he hovers over it. And if you're a bit crazy like me, you can add YouTube video as a tooltip. So instead of the tooltip text, you can show him a video describing what that particular term is. And it won't put any load on your server as you're basically calling that particular code and YouTube will be responsible for all the handling. So it won't slow down your website. So you're safe to use this. All you need to do is to go to any video and click on share. And there's something called embed. Click on that. And it gives you the code that you need to copy. And of course, there are a couple of things that you can customize here. So you can start, uh, change the starting point of the video or you can hide or show the player controls, all that stuff. Once you've checked all that, copy this code, come out of YouTube, close YouTube and instead of text, paste that particular code and you're good to go. Your video is shown and you need to adjust this to show the video properly. So I can change the width to 400% and then it will show the video. I can hover over this and I can simply play the video from any YouTube channel. And of course you can remove the background, blue background. So you can remove this one. So that will show the plain video and you can simply click on that. And this is really great if you have a lot of complex terminology and 
if you want to explain your user what that particular terminology is and this is particularly helpful if you're running a business and you want your user to get familiar with all your business terminology this advanced tooltip is similar to apple's 3d touch in which user presses firmly on a particular element and it opens contextual options so if you click an image it will show him a preview and if he clicks on a particular link it will show him a preview of the website so you can apply that particular principle here to achieve the similar effect so indirectly we are simulating apple's 3d touch and hope you liked it there will be more interesting videos like this stay tuned and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace Thank you.